This is Kimberly Lachelle. I am driving right now. <laughs> okay, it's not against a lot of Periscope and drive. But anyway, hey, I wanted to tell y'all a couple things that um, I'm actually on my way to the ER with cousins. Uh, uh -oh. I'm on the way to the ER. Uh, my cousin's two-year-old is about to get some fluids or whatever and I just it just got me thinking about motherhood so here are a few things that people do not tell you about motherhood okay it's kind of the dirty dirty the you know as quiet as this kept type of thing um, again I'm Kimberly Lachelle I am the editor-in-chief of Speed Beautiful Speed Beautiful we write car reviews from a uh, female perspective in a lifestyle type of format we are the only and the first african-american automotive media group for speedbeautiful.com anyway so here we go the things that people don't want to tell you about motherhood number one the daycare first of all you can't just willy-nilly get pregnant and decide you just want to pop up and take your child to daycare it don't work like that give me some hearts if you understand this you can't have a baby in may and decide to put your baby in daycare two months later oh no they there are lists some of the lists are 13 14 15 months long so you just can't you know sashay yourself down to the daycare and tell them that you uh you need to put your child in daycare you have to get on the list while you are pregnant yes especially in large cities like where I live I live in Atlanta all right so another thing people don't tell you uh, -uh about motherhood I'm driving by the way another thing people don't tell you about motherhood okay single parenting is hard 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 I know because my mom was a single parent for some time with us but just because you got two parents in the house oh no 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 it doesn't mean that it's not hard everybody thinks oh two parents two incomes no baby we came into the relationship with two sets of bills so gaining an income is not like a freaking windfall we got two sets of bills we gotta cover we need two sets of incomes okay i digress the daycare so the daycare regardless of if you are married we are one of the few couples at the daycare that are still married right we got a lot of single parents that go to our same daycare do you know that regardless to the fact that we have two sing two parents they still call me all the time all the time yeah the mama one time y'all i ain't even lying give me some hearts or let me know you can feel me one time my husband dropped off the kids dropped off the kids and they called me five minutes after he dropped them off the reason why my husband dropped them off that morning was because i had to be at work at 8 30 in the morning i had a meeting 8 30 in the morning they called me they say uh miss lachelle your daughter is sick um and i i mean i had to, i know for a minute i felt like a bad mom but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I had to start letting go of all that bad mom crap and just tell the real. And I told them women at the school, baby y'all, okay, can you call his phone? Yes. Regardless to whether or not you are a two couple, two parent, I'm sorry, somebody was calling me, two family home, they will still depend on the mom. And that's what I wanna say at the end of the day, regardless to how many, how many parents and grandparents you have involved, society looks to the mom to be on point and that was one thing I did not anticipate marrying somebody who is a partner my husband's a great husband and I just anticipated sharing you know one of the fruits of marrying well is to have somebody to share the load with oh no 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 there is no sharing society doesn't look at it that way and it's all on you as a parent all right one of the other things that people won't tell you about being a mama when you are a first time mom, nobody cares. When you call the OBGYN when you're pregnant and you tell them, oh, I feel like my baby is about, I feel like I, I just, you know, had a contraction and they're five minutes apart. The first thing they ask you is, is this your first child? If the answer is yes, you are pretty much ignored. Okay? So every time I call the OBGYN, they would always say, Oh, uh, take a Tylenol. Tylenol fixed everything. As a first time mom, people do kind of give you the side eye. They give you a little shade. They don't believe what it is you're saying and they actually anticipate you exaggerating. So those just are a few things that 
a lot of people won't tell you about being a first time I mean about being a mother that even in two parent homes I'm just gonna do a recap even in two parent homes you are expected as a mother to be the number one person on point the other thing is being a first-time mother the doctor's offices and even even other women kind of give you the side eye when you complain or have something to say because they just assume that you're being dramatic or you know you don't know what you're talking about and um, I forgot what my other one was I'm gonna have to do better at this periscoping thing <laughs> but anyway hey thanks for joining me I was just you know kind of doing a things they don't tell you about motherhood as I'm driving down the street on the way to ER um, for one of the babies in our family so keep the little baby in your prayer so um, again this is Kimberly Lachelle I am from Speed Beautiful we help women and families find the cars of their dreams by writing lifestyle car reviews I and my team we are the first african-american automotive media group in the world I hope you can join us on Twitter and also on our website at speedbeautiful.com talk to you later y'all Okay, I sing everything, so y'all have to excuse me. I am an ex-music major, so I sing every single thing. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.